do what we do. Listen to each other, support each other, keep going. One, two, three, that was the hardest punch we're gonna have the entire tournament. Right now we have a really good team and we have a really good chance to actually do well with Major. We are much more prepared and we are very ready to take them on. In my opinion, it's just like who wants it more and like who does slightly less mistakes. The ultimate goal for everybody playing CS at this level is obviously to win a major. And this is kind of the last chance. One, two, three, three, Coming into the RMR for the Paris major was like really weird mix of being super confident and at the same time having an unreal amount of pressure. Mostly because of what happened in the Rio armor where we didn't qualify. Then also because like coming in as the best team in the world with that pressure on top of it. There's like a mixture of like being confident because you're the best team in the world but at the same time if you don't make it, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even think Reddit could handle it. <laughs> Now we are heading to Legend stage, uh, the teams are much stronger and we even need to do better than what we did in Challenger stage, but it's uh, looking good so far. Even the practice today was uh, really good and productive, so the team is feeling great. We are in good shape right now and uh, we just need to keep going. First game is going to be versus Vitality. They're mostly French team. And obviously it means a lot to some of the players on that team, so... We are ready to take them on. We actually lost to them quite badly at, uh, at the RMR in Copenhagen. But uh, I think this time we have, we'll be a little bit more prepared, we'll have a better game plan, I think people are more confident. Usually when we play them, the games are always close and it's always an exciting game to play. Looking forward to the game and looking forward to taking the revenge from the RMR. This, they're coming in from every angle, he realizes as well. Backup is going to be called for, but it's going to be a while here. Good spray from Apex, but they're coming for him really quick. A good double. Cyru one versus two, and he knew he had that fight isolated. That's Cyru now on a one versus four. And why not? Why not? You know, try and see if you can clutch it at the end. That would certainly crush G2. He's Sinal. down below. They have no idea. It is the Sinal drop. Oh my god. Jake has some honesty on the other side. He's going to tap the bomb once. No kit, so this is going to be even more difficult. It's nearly a two for one shot. Molotov right on top of the bomb to slow them down even it. further. And now Cyber's playing at the edge. He's going to come right for the smoke. They're not ready for it. He gets the kill and it's a clean up. Vitality oh. taking down G2. When it comes to expectations, I'm not really that result based. And I think especially when it's like Swiss best of ones, you cannot expect to go 3-0 no matter who you are. If we go 3-2 and two, or if we go 3-0, and zero, I don't really mind as long as we go through. As long as we put in the effort and the same way of playing that we've been doing in the Challenger stage, I will be totally fine. Go left side, go left side. Then you can go middle one up. <laughs> <laughs> Is he insane, Nico? Yes. You guys will be lucky to see this content. It's crazy. Even admin is watching. Admin? Is it insane? Yes. <laughs> Game, they enter the, our boot and say we cannot shout because they think we, we are talking something to you. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that they think I'm such a bad English leader that I need advice from them. <laughs> okay, that was a bit rude, bro. That was a bit rude. <laughs> so I want you guys to trust every single teammate that is sitting next to you to communicate, believe in each other, and believe in your <laughs> skills. We're gonna lift the trophy together, and this is just a small step. To that path. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Give them a three. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah! They're going to smoke on the bomb as well. He's careful with the flashes. It's a 10 second defuse, but they are holding it. They are holding it. Oh, Monacy. One more bullet. He has to reload. Two seconds. One more bullet. Oh, and up no. The 10 second defuse right under G2's nose. 
ready for the head-to-head -head duel. It's AKVM4, Nico executes in a second as well. Oh, for good measure. Oh, perfect. GXX, oh my god, another perfect flash. It's JKS that sets them up. And it's Nico That's that knocks them down. An ace for the legend stage. Nico lays down the law. Let's go. Hey, let's go, man. BNE, the constant thorn in G2's side. No moment. Oh, great tap. Last bullet into the one on one. This is Counter Strike right now. It's JKS just saves them. I can't quite believe the rounds we're seeing. It's high up. Flash. Rigon still gets the first. Hunter gets one back. Oh. Needs the second and does. Oh, yeah. And it's the Orpus. Oh, the oh, man comes through. Oh, dear. The Kovac cousins hold their breath as they're forced to watch as they could be condemned in three more frags to that 0-2. Condemns them to a loss of sleep and a loss of a game. The Eagles take down G2. Yesterday was very unfortunate. We had a pretty good start with 10-3 uh, and then somehow we weren't ourselves. We played not to win. We played somehow just to prevent not to lose. So today it's uh, time to show up better and we are about to play best of three against Fuya, elimination game. So now backs against the wall. Everyone is doing their own stuff. Like nobody's thinking too much about it. We are still very confident and have high hopes. Come, come, come. Go, 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 go. Oh, Two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no, no. Eight, nine. Yeah, it's the last CSGO major. Uh, I'm trying not to think like it's the last CS major because obviously CS2, I don't think it's going to be that big of a difference. I think the majors are going to be very similar, if not the same. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's super cool to be a part of the last major, but but yeah, it would be even nicer to, to lift the trophy at the last CSGO major. Hooksy decides to crank the tempo on his own. Nico could get caught off by this or not. <laughs> This was a three versus five out of G2 before they started to reclaim kills on A. And now they're just going to go ahead and close out what's nah, left. Boys. Him and JKS looking to tether nicely. And the pressure's applied. The kill is found. And another one up in the corner. Hunter waits, safe jumps through with bomb. And that just throws this down into the dirt. Yuri needs to recover. And Nico wastes no time. In <laughs> case Serato's MAC-10 kills him. Hunter's got the trade frag though. Blood meets blood. And a smoke in front of drop. No! He's the third. Hunter has gone above and beyond. A total 180. Made that 3K look so smooth. So really, this team on screen is not losing maps. Yeah, with the future of the Okay, but a second time and Hunter able to get the blind side. Modesty with the scout shot. They kill Hooksy point blank. We've got eight seconds. More dings come out. The scout takes its target and they have fumbled it again. Nico, Nemo, show them what it means to play a coach. Nico flashes great backwards. Half health versus three. Hunters oh, not oh, missing. Man. Just headshots after headshots. Justin, I would have to choose one anchor play in my whole life. I would always choose you. He just strikes from above. Lightning takes down drop. Rasmus. The Fury are here to offer Hunter with the trade back. And Monacy looking for that last frag. The last frag. Oh! We played uh, Furia, we won 2-0, pretty uh, comfortable win uh, on both maps. Uh, when we got going on, on Mirage as well, it was uh, it was nice. We suck at winning pistols all of a sudden, for some reason, <laughs> but we're good at winning second rounds. Tomorrow we'll meet uh, Fnatic, my old teammates, so that will be a heartbreaking uh, moment for sure, for well, hopefully not for me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll see. It's going to be a fun game. I'm ready to Fnatic. You play Fnatic? Nico's trophy cabinet, the always elusive major. And so here he is yet again this evening to try and run it back. G2 versus Fnatic. We've got a top eight major team in Fnatic versus G2 who didn't get that chance in Rio and now are trying to fight back from the 0-2. How can you always complain about being hot and then now this? It looks so fat. <laughs> it's okay, I'll go next to <laughs> Coming to the match against Fnatic, uh, we're feeling amazing. we having a good atmosphere and uh, it's gonna be do or die match. I think we have a good map pool against them. I think it's, it, will, it will be good enough for, for us. Guys, not a whole lot that we need to say. Players, you guys know what you're doing together, okay? 
we make sure that we set the tone and the pace the entire day. Okay? Have a hell of a match, guys. Lean on each other, have some fun together. Let's go see you do it. All right, let's go. Way too much to ask of Nico. They're already down into the pit. He sees the util. Now, if he kills the Nikodos to his left, that's low health. He can turn it back. Perfect! Nico! He sections off three kills when it was nothing but him in A. Now, the pit players can contribute, and he even gets an additional angle. So, Mezzi's not removing himself, but Hunter will take him down by force! Oh! Off of Balka triple! Bags flash blinds the punch. Oof! Just shredded. And he can sense that there's a third one here. Nico can feel it. And he doesn't fear you, Mezzi. He faces you. The way so far. Fifth off down. Absolutely stuffed. The bomb tries to exit. Fanatic attempt to exit. But just like every other team that has met G2 on Inferno in Paris, they feel the wrath of the T side. Coming to Ancient, we also felt confident, like as an Inferno, we just won the first map, right? We were like leading 1-0 on Ancient, like we couldn't find our city site, first of all. And uh, I don't know, we were just like playing like shitty, <laughs> you know. It was not the best, yeah, and uh, I think like everyone had to step up. One, two, three, yeah! Smash off the backboard, re-peak, and at least Modesty picks it up, but Crims is there with the trade frag. It's also to win the round if the CT trades come in, but it's gonna be hard to find. The KS starts. Beautiful! Oh! oh, oh the Aussie with 180s! JKS holding the cross, and he'll have to go wide by JKS! Another clutch! And yet with Monacy iced out of the round with the smoke, they are going to fumble it! A push-up to the B site that should have been theirs! And instead, it's Fnatic to push this to three. Two players outside B, but JKS peeks into it. And if JKS can completely lock down one side of this map, then that's gonna keep pushing Fnatic into these. Fixate forward. Oh, and a first one on Nico, straight through the smoke. A dive onto the bomb, but he doesn't stop plant. Even doubt, and Hooksy wastes no time. Nikodaz right there, back turn, hits the shot. A second, and Nikodaz is now one away as the kid prodigy whose dreams will be crushed alongside the Kovac and all of a sudden he peeks, he goes down. The guillotine in Paris drops on the head of the king who will never touch the crown. My wish always was to play with Nico in CSGO since I started playing and uh, playing last major with him. If somebody told me like six years ago that I would play last major in CSGO in G2 with Nico, I sign and that's a dream. dream, dream came true. For you guys, I just want to say that sometimes you expect like a lot of big teams to come on the tournaments. You kind of already expect them to make playoffs. It just it doesn't happen, you know, and it's still fine. Sorry to all of the fans who came here. It also, it's for us heartbreaking a bit uh, that we will not see fans and uh, I will not do signatures and not do photos with you because I love to do it. See you next time.